Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go to Laval and meet my friend, Chef Romaine Avril, and cook something delicious off of his current menu. So let's go. I'm good to see you. Oh my god, so what are we cooking today? We're cooking your salmon today. Amazing, let's go do it. Awesome. Okay, so today we're gonna do our salmon from the full menu. Okay. So we're gonna start by cooking the fish. It's a wild salmon from BC. We're gonna start by seasoning it. Is that just regular salt? That is regular salt and regular canola oil. So you want a nice hot pan, otherwise the skin's gonna attach to the pan. We're gonna take our salmon in the 80s to kind of like he said just so like the, the temperature between the fish and the pan is the same. I'm just gonna like turn it around. And then we're gonna leave it cooking slowly and gently on the side. While this is cooking, we're gonna cook our salsify okay. and our mushroom. So we're gonna go in a pan with some butter. And then uh, we're gonna go some oil as well, just Every time you cook with butter, it's good to add a bit of oil, just so the, uh, the butter doesn't burn. Yep. And then for our spaghetti squash, we're gonna also do some butter, but just butter only. So the spaghetti squash that we just roasted the whole squash with the skin on, and we just remove the spaghetti. And leave it in the pan, and it'll just warm up. Just give it a little quick check on the salmon. Gently. And then you get that skin crispy. And next we're gonna go with the salsify. I'm gonna put it in the pan gently. Some salt. Crack of pepper. We need a really hot pan for the mushroom. So the idea of the mushroom, there's a lot of water. So you have to like really hard sear. So it sees the mushroom before it starts to release the water. Okay. So I'm gonna put my mushroom right now to start. Our salsa is starting to get a bit of a color. This is where we're going to add some maple. So it's just shredded maple, so steak and idiot. I'm going to dig the salsa with a bit of maple. Oh, it's going to get some sweetness and some color. Okay. Now we're going to create like a little caramel. Then we're going to start basting our salmon. So I'm just going to put it, so as you can see, the skin is really oh, crispy. Nice crispy yeah. But I don't like to cook on the other side because I like the salmon to be nice and medium rare. So what we're going to do, we're just going to add a lot of butter on the side of the pan, some thyme and bay leaf, fresh garlic, and then we're going to push it, melt the butter a little bit, and we're going to start basting it. Oh no, that's very cool. So that's cooking without giving like a, like a really hard sear. Okay. So you cook the other side, but you keep it like a nice big center. Our salmon is cooked, so what I'll do I'll always just give a quick flip and I deglaze it with some lemon dressing in the pan. Okay, give it a nice fresh taste. Exactly, a bit of acidity. Our salsa fee are just about ready. Our mushrooms have been sitting so now they have a beautiful color. So we can just give them a quick stir. And again, um, we love acidity so we can deglaze with a bit of lemon juice. Now our salsa fee are ready, so we have everything cooked. So now we're gonna move on to the plating. So we're gonna start, sorry, we're gonna finish now with the plating. Okay. So we're gonna start with our sweet potato puree. And then we're gonna do a few dots. Then we're gonna put our fish. When I plate, I like to do uh, more of a natural plating. So I don't like when it's too, it looks too constructed. Yeah. Like I tell my guys, the plate is going to look beautiful, but it's not going to look the exact same way every single time. There is kind of a, a line to follow. So when I uh, try to go with this one, is to kind of like play on like the woods. So you have like the mushroom salsa. So we're going to go with the spaghetti squash, which is easier to use the tweezer for that. So two little and we're gonna do Brussels sprouts. Uh, so just the leaves that I quickly deep fry just for crispy and then bring some color to the dish as well. And then we have a radish cress. So I'm trying to kind of make a little bundle. 
So radish press, I really like. It's really fresh, um, almost peppery. So again, it cuts through all the like hearty flavors. Yeah. Then we're gonna finish with uh, gobo root. So gobo root is, uh, I don't know if you, it's like the really long salsify. It's like an Asian root. And then I just shaved it and then deep fry it. So again, bring some texture in. So this is like salty and crispiness. Exactly. It's like dish. your chips, um, yeah. but your luxury chips. I like to finish it with a bit of uh, dressing just on the cresses because we haven't seasoned them. Okay. A bit on our salmon. Wow, that looks beautiful. And here we go. This is our salmon for the fall menu. Wow, looks delicious. Well, let's enjoy it then. Thank you. I love the colors on the dish. I love how you mixed all the different textures. The salmon is cooked to perfection. So that concludes our segment here at Laval. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Don't forget to follow Sahela online and Chef Romain Avril on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.